Hi, everybody. It's still, oh, just uh, eight more minutes, and it will be August 11. Well, the reason why I'm posting this now is because I just came across this video, and apparently, fe oh, sorry. Don't click on the big tag. FEMA planning nationwide emergency alert test for August 11. I didn't know about this. Did you? Um, my brothers and sisters, it just so happens that on the 11th of August, FEMA are planning a nationwide emergency alert test. Uh, this test is going to be sent out to TVs, radios, along with select cell phones. So we have Pentecost starting on the evening of uh, the 11th to the evening of 12th on, on according to the Essen calendar. We have the meteorite shower on the 11th to the 12th of August. And we also have the FEMA organizing a nationwide emergency alert test. Do they know something? My brothers and sisters, let's be found doing the will of God. Speak to you soon. I like that. Let's be found doing the will of God. Yeah. FEMA alert. A emergency alert. Yeah. Tomorrow, there's a planned power outage here. It doesn't start, and I hope it doesn't come earlier, but apparently it's from 11 p.m. until 5 a.m. We've got so much going on that I just thought that I would bring this to your attention. Um, maybe nothing. But if you've been paying attention to... Well, a lot that is going on in our country. I'm going to play just two minutes of this um, U.S. military warning on America's worst day ever. Blackout as infrastructure attacks come. Full spectrum survival. It's funny. You know, people... I still get those comments, and so does everybody. I see them on other channels. Uh, fear mongering, never lose truth. You can always count on her to fear monger. No fear mongering. Just presenting what is going on. And if you get scared by hearing something from someone on their videos, the problem is with you. Not the person who is posting the video. And you know, I don't consider full-spectrum survival a fear-mongerer. I've seen a lot of people, you know, claiming that he fear-mongers. I guess those are the people that are not paying attention to what's happening. But considering that I've heard similar information that you will hear full-spectrum survival speak in this video in just, you know, a second. Um, I've heard similar information. I can't verify what he's saying. When you think about Cyber Polygon, when you think about everything that's going on on a daily basis, um, and seems that they are ramping up all agendas, uh, bringing an awful lot in that <clears throat> it's it's truly on a pace that is just overwhelming. So let me just play, you know, uh, like two and a half minutes of this video, and I will link below. You can listen to the full 13 minutes. I think a lot of you know that something is going to happen sooner rather than later. I don't have a very good feeling. I sure as hell hope 
that we're okay for the next couple of weeks because if we're not I'm screwed um, so you know it's uh, it's let's just say it's a very concerning time rather unprecedented in the good old US of A Soldiers with the U.S. military are preparing for large-scale attacks to take place across the United States of America, including nuclear, biological, and anti-government attacks that will affect your infrastructure and your ability to survive what they say is coming in the not-too-distant future. Soldiers with the U.S. military are preparing for what they're calling America's worst day as national concerns of an anti-government uprising, large-scale social unrest, and extreme attacks against national and local infrastructure have American military members training on American soil for a series of events that should make you and your family take a step in the right direction for preparedness. You see, if you are not a member of the government, if you are not local infrastructure, if you're not an emergency uh, preparedness individual, or excuse me, an emergency critical individual, you are not going to get saved by the U.S. military. The police are not going to come help you. You'll be lucky if 911 is still operational and they're able to send a paramedic to your area, even if it has nothing to do with a larger attack. The U.S. Army is not going to save you. They are going to be there to protect local government, local officials, and the U.S. infrastructure, because that is what matters to the continuity of government. So you and your family need to take things into your own hands and prepare for these very same events that the U.S. military is getting ready for. In a multi-day exercise in the northern part of the United States, soldiers are training for what reports are calling America's worst day. Amid a growing expectation that the United States of America will suffer a crisis of untold proportions in the not-too-distant future, government concerns are rising over the use of nuclear, biological, and kinetic attacks. They are increasing in their viability and in their likelihood on U.S. soil. Task Force 46 of the U.S. Army, and doesn't that sound dystopian? It sounds like something out of a fictional story. We've got Task Force 46 responding, but that is exactly what is happening. The U.S. military is preparing for a large infrastructural attack to take place. They're warning about it left and right. We're hearing and seeing reports that Chinese... Uh, uh, hackers, Russian hackers may be taking part in infrastructural sabotage on the United States of America, and you have to start to question why and what the end goal is. I can tell you right now, it's instability. It's so that you lose confidence in government, and then once you lose conf uh, confidence in government, you will rise against them. That's the goal of these proxy wars. That's the goal of uh, winning a war from the outside. Don't think that the United States of America hasn't done the exact same thing in the Middle East and in wars across the world. Take down the economy, lose confidence in the local government, and then swoop in for the rescue or at least let them uh, sort of deteriorate by themselves so that you don't even have to step foot. A soldier of your country doesn't even have to step foot on that nation's soil. So All right. Um, Cyber Polygon. Uh, well, prepare. Just prepare for anything. And, um, you know, just looking at the economic news productivity has slowed down really as if we had productivity in our country um, everything that's uh, that is uh, taking place with this pandemic and the Delta variant uh, more and more states adopting mask mandates again and even though governors like Whitmer has said I will not um, issue a lockdown again you can't trust her you can't trust anybody but what he was saying about do not count on you know the police or the military protecting you we have seen and I don't know if you've seen but I have I've seen a, a numerous now articles about how the police are just not responding to crimes like Oregon 
just last night. All right, so I posted this video, the uh, Antifa thugs coming to disrupt the Christian event in Portland. Some of you said that it was staged. I don't think it was staged, but I don't know. But staged or not, it's a communication to you. And that communication is chaos is erupting. A whole lot of chaos is erupting. A whole lot of random violence is erupting all over the country. Road rage. Wow. Don't get involved with a road rager because a whole lot of people are getting shot dead. Um, so, you know... The event <clears throat> that I posted yesterday with Antifa, you know, they were just uh, knocking over the speakers and, yeah, doing what Antifa does best. Well, there was the event today. A whole lot showed up. I guess it was a evangelical Christian music festival. And I guess Antifa, well, they were either in a timeout or they behaved themselves, perhaps because they saw how huge the crowd was, but they didn't behave themselves in Portland at night. And how you guys in Portland live there, I don't know. How do you guys live there? I want to hear from you guys in Portland. This is so unbelievable. Go, go, hit that car! Go, hit that car! Go, go, hit that car! Go, hit that car! It's a war zone. All right, so uh, they were hunting down the, the Christians. Proud Boys came out uh, to, you know, fight Antifa. Antifa throw chunks of concrete at the right-wing group uh, providing security to people dispersing the worship event. So it was the Proud Boys. This has been going on for how long in Portland? Uh, before the pandemic? Antifa battled with a right-wing volunteer security group as people dispersed downtown Portland. The streets were shut down. 
Okay. Well, then I hear this today. Portland police say they were too busy responding to crimes this weekend to step in during fights between what appeared to be Antifa and far-right activists. No one was arrested, even though people were shooting each other with paintballs and bear mace. This started on Saturday at an event hosted by a controversial street preacher from Canada who's also a political activist. According to journalists on the ground, anti-fascists dressed in black stormed the event and started throwing flash bombs, rocks, and eggs. Then they tore down some sound equipment. Right-wing demonstrators responded, and the two groups fought in the streets of downtown Portland. Then, Sunday, the violence continued during a concert held by a Christian leader. Both days, people used flashbangs, pepper spray, and fireworks. One person was seen with an airsoft rifle and appeared to be aiming it at people. Portland police said they were aware of the group's fighting, but did not get involved. They said they were dealing with the homicide on the TriMet bus, along with the robbery in Old Town. So I guess you have, what, five police officers in Portland? I know that they were defunding the police, but one homicide, one robbery, and, well, we can't. We're too busy. We're too busy. Portland police say they were busy with other calls. Do not rely on the police. There is no one you can trust at this point. If you have people in your life now that you trust, hold on to them dearly. But new people, don't trust them. I mean, I always have this uh, level of trust that I extend to everyone, but I am very wary of people now. So you're on your own. And, you know, this is going to be happening all over. It has already, just not quite with the, well, um, the continuity going on in Portland. But this is going to come. And I think, look, I can only go by what I see every single day, and now how I'm feeling. And I have to make sure that what I'm feeling is about what we're dealing with collectively as opposed to what I'm dealing with personally. But I do not have a good feeling. I sure hope that nothing happens, you know, I sure hope nothing happens ever, (laughs) but it's going to, and it has, and it will continue. Um, But keep in mind all of what you have uh, learned. You know, Cyber Polygon, the grid going down, that is going to ruin an awful lot of people. So, you know, stay safe. Stay safe. I hope you never have to suffer any consequences of everything that is taking place, and I hope that remains true for you forever. Unfortunately, everything really has picked up pace. So, yeah, you know, I hope you're all in a good place, a safe place. Um, You know, if anything really happens big, like Full Spectrum Survival was talking about, yeah, we'll look at martial law. And if you're not in a safe place, well... (laughs) You may not be able to find one. You may not be able to travel. All of these things you need to consider. And uh, 
I... That's all I'm going to say. I, you know, we are going down fast, and Americans will turn on Americans. Americans will turn on Americans. You know, I wanted to play this video, but uh, I could very well get a copyright strike. Mark Dice is out here, and they want to arrest and jail all unvaccinated adults. So he's out there with a petition, as he does, and um, you should watch it. Eight minutes. It's remarkable to see how many Americans are, yeah, absolutely, arrest. Stick him in jail. That guy called Mark Dice a scumbag. The uh, That first guy said absolutely not because it's fascism. But most people signed it. This woman, gung-ho, arrest them. Arrest them. And this woman, the unvaccinated are spreading the Delta variant. variant. You know, Americans have no clue, no clue what is going on. And while they seem as if they're human beings, they really have been taken over. You know, they, they, they don't think for themselves anymore. Uh, mainstream media, that news is fine for them. So, you no, know, it's the vaccinated actually that's <clears throat> transmitting this, but Arrest the unvaccinated. And you also have to keep in mind, you know, um, I'm going to read, you know, some of this article, but there is a CDC document, and I thought I had posted on this, and maybe, maybe I didn't or I did. I can't even remember. Interim operational considerations for implementing the shielding approach to prevent COVID-19 infections in humanitarian settings. This was posted uh, July 26, 2020. Doesn't matter. Delta variant. Oh, my God. It's spreading. It's all over. You know, Texas governor now is calling in um, out-of-state doctors and Florida governor. Well, we have to, or was it Texas? I can't remember. We have to um, suspend elective surgeries and, yeah. It's all over, okay? Uh, all over with the propaganda. Huh. So this document I will link to below, and they do talk about camps and putting the high risk, uh, isolating them away from family members, away from low-risk residents. So low-risk, high-risk, unvaccinated, vaccinated, it's easier just to read the article. Um, they call them green zones. Everything's green. Green zones. To physically separate high-risk individuals from the general population, high-risk individuals would be relocated to camps, meaning shelters such as schools, community buildings, where as many as 50 individuals would be held in each green zone, where no movement into or outside the green zone would be allowed. So then you think about this document, and then you think about all the other documents. Um, oh boy, I think it was a couple of months ago I posted on how, oh God, was it? Department of Homeland Security training in rural areas, you know, getting all of the public and private partners together with law enforcement on sticking people in camps because of an outbreak. So, Document takes into account considerations on housing different ethnicities, socio-cultural groups, or religions within the green zones, isolation, separation from family members, loss of freedom, 
and personal interactions may require additional psychosocial support structures or systems. Uh, noting that those who are isolated may face stigmatization. The document warns that compliance may be an issue when isolating people in such a manner because while the shielding approach is not meant to be coercive, so don't you worry, it may appear forced or be misunderstood in humanitarian settings. Candace Owens tweeted, Holy shit, the CDC actually put together a document to discuss putting high-risk people into camps to shield low-risk people from them. No, this is not a joke, and yes, every single person who has made a reference to 1930s Germany is vindicated. Oops, that was my cat sneezing. So, prepare for anything. Stay vigilant. Increase your awareness of your surroundings when you're out. You know, I still have yet to post that random violence video. The it's it's really from my perspective, Americans are not well. They will turn on one another. Remember that when people don't know who they are and they get stressed out, they can become violent. They're, uh, they regress mentally. They become immature, irrational. That's why trust was so important. And that's why doing the work on ourselves was so important. So, it's not fear-mongering. We are not in a good place. And I think most of you know that. And it's so heartbreaking and sad to see what is going on here. But it is going on. So, denial, not a good thing right now. Pretending that things are okay, not a good thing. Because it will keep you uh, off balance and let you just, you know, continue on day after day, you know, in a delusion that, you know, we're okay or things are going to get better. No, sorry. And if I'm wrong, I will gladly post a video admitting that. All right, guys, the links are below.